do one more. Okay, I've been told to do one more, holding her. This is such a balancing act. Okay, I'm going to play Trusting Jesus. Now I'm going to hand her off. <laughs> we'll see. She may show back up here in a little bit. Oh, my. Okay, so on to, let's see, Does Jesus Care? Thursday. So I always have to think for just a second right before I say the day of the week because we don't go live at the same time every week anymore. So this is actually the second live for this week and we went live on Tuesday for a hemp playing like Q&A. So it was super fun. Lots of great questions from church pianists. So we spent about an hour answering all of those. So if you missed that and you're a church pianist, go back. You may find something that would be helpful. So I'm going to play a few more Let's see, four more from the afternoon request or whenever I posted this morning, I guess, when I said that we were going live this evening, there were some really great requests in there and songs that I haven't played in a while. And one, I'm pretty sure I've never played. If I have, it would maybe be once a long time ago. So I'm gonna start with Till the Storm Passes By.
this next one, it's the last one from the uh, morning request that I'm going to play, and it's called God of the Impossible, and it's written by the Garlocks, Frank Garlock of Majesty Music. And it is actually the, if I remember correctly, the second song that our family learned to sing together when I was like four. I remember the first song was called Jesus Passed By, and I was four when we learned that to sing as a family. And I had to do the first verse, and my sister did the second verse, that kind of thing. But as far as I can remember, this is the second song that we learned. So when someone requested it this afternoon, I thought, oh my word, that is such a blast from the past. My kids choir at church sings this, and I absolutely love to hear them sing it. But um, someone requesting it this afternoon kind of somehow jogged my memory that this was way back when, when I learned this song. So it's just great. Um, the chorus goes, God can do what seems impossible. God controls eternity. My mind can barely comprehend it, but God in heaven cares for me. And the words are just wonderful. So I may give you more of the words as I play because they start coming back to me as I start playing. verse says, I don't know all the meaning of forever or just how long it's been since time began. I can't explain how Christ, who is eternal, could come to earth and die for sinful men. So, and the first verse just talks about can't count the sands on the seashore, can't explain how the stars hang in space, all these big things that we do not understand and cannot hope to with our finite minds. And yet, God in heaven cares for us. It's just an amazing thought. So thanks for requesting that one. Okay, and now on to all of your requests. Okay, well, the first one is Christ liveth in me. Christ liveth in me.
That's another one with kind of the same topic as God of the impossible. Mm -hmm. Just talking about the miracle that Christ, the Son of God, indwells the believer after salvation. You don't have to wait to receive Him. He indwells the believer at the point of salvation. So that's a really deep Bible doctrine, but it's true. So. Amen. Let's do the cleansing wave. The cleansing wave. <laughs> Jesus, I come. Amen. All right. Can you hear me now, Natalie? Yes. Okay. I've been fixing problems. <laughs> I, I think I finally killed the low frequency hum, which unfortunately it's the air conditioning unit. So So this might be a shorter session. <laughs> things are definitely <laughs> heating up, yes. <laughs> If y'all see me giving signals to the cameraman like, we are cutting it short, it's because I will be burning up. So, All the right. things we do for you guys. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> do you know a song called Serve the Lord with Gladness? Serve the Lord with Gladness. I don't. Sounds great. We all should, but I don't know that song. 
All right, let's do Constantly Abiding. Oh, yeah. What sins are you talking about? Okay. Okay, I said God of the Impossible was the second song we learned. But this one, if this wasn't the second, it was definitely the third song we learned as a family. And I remember learning it because it's the song, for whatever reason, my parents and I, the other three siblings were somewhere else, and my parents and I went, they, some people invited us over to their house to eat one night when I was like maybe five. And I remember on the way home, my dad saying, okay, we're going to learn a new song. And it was just the three of us in the van. And he said, you're going to sing the lead all by yourself. And your mom and I are going to harmonize. And your mom is going to do the verses. And it was this song, What Sins Are You Talking About? So I remember holding that lead down on that high. What sins are you talking about? And I just, I loved that song. It was so much fun to sing. But I thought, Whoa, I have the lead all by myself. So this this one is sentimental as well. So you guys are picking some great songs tonight. It's a great song. So in the Old Testament, he put our sins behind his back and as far as the east is from the west and buried them in the depths of the sea. But they were 
all the picture there is that they're actually always still there because the children of God still had to go once a year to make atonement for their sins. But then when Jesus came, he abolished the old covenant, established a new covenant, which was once for all. He did it one time for everybody. So our sins were gone, not just buried or put somewhere, but Jesus Christ took care of them completely through his death on the cross. So, man, you guys are making me think of all sorts of doctrinal things tonight. So that's kind of where that song comes from, is that Jesus Christ doesn't remember them anymore. They're, they're gone. So, amen. My sins are gone. Surely, goodness and mercy. Oh, good. Dr. Alfred mm-hmm. Smith song. I start the right song? You did. I think did I? Okay. <laughs> it's the same key as the one I just played. So for some reason I thought I went back to the other one. I did that mm. last week in camp meeting. I was playing Heaven's Jubilee on Friday night of the Western North Carolina camp meeting, which is just a great meeting. And Brother Jim Burns turned to me and he said, play a verse in the middle of the congregationals. And I promptly played a verse of getting ready to leave this world instead of Heaven's Jubilee. And then we both realized it, and close to the end of the verse, he said, let's all join on the chorus. And we went back back to Heaven's Jubilee. So I I think my brain kind of shorted out on me. All right, let's see. Surely, goodness, and mercy. Next up is, I don't know if I know this song, but I'll give it a try anyway. Wonderful, Merciful Savior. Oh, yeah.
That was nice. Thank you. <laughs> That's a really pretty song. I almost went back into the chorus one more time just because I was enjoying it so much. All right. I'm not sure if this is the whole title. Um, I Have Found the Way. Um, okay. It's, I believe it's in the red back, which I'm trying to see if I have one really close by because I don't think I know that one well enough by memory to try to attempt it in front of everybody. Um, okay. Well, give it a whirl anyway. Oh, mercy. Okay. It's not going to go very well, guys, because I can only remember the first part of the verse and the first part of the chorus. Remember that, so, uh, so the chorus would be. Let me let me practice that one before I make you guys endure me. Do you see a church hymnal anywhere? I nearby? don't. It's three hundred fourteen. I'm sure it's in that cabinet, but there's a camera stand in front of it, so I'm not going to move it. I'll, I'll have to practice that one. I'll promise I'll get to it next time. Okay. I shouldn't promise. Right. I'll Here's work. I'll try. Here's another one. Okay. I don't know, but okay. you may. He grew the tree. He grew the tree. No, but I believe someone sent me the music for it, so I'm going to go back and check my email. That is ringing a really distinct bell, so I'm going to go check my email. And please forgive us if we don't get to the one that you sent me the music for, it's a little bit difficult to keep up with the, a lot of the sheet music that comes in. And so please forgive us. It is not out of not caring. It's just out of the volume that's hard to process. So it doesn't mean, because I've gotten several messages saying, I sent that to you in 2019. And please forgive me. That, that was a while back and it's hard to keep up with. So thanks for understanding. All right, let's do What a Lovely Name. There we go. Okay, one I know. Number 58 in the Rejoice Hymnal. 58. So yeah, I pulled this hymnal out when someone asked me to play the song by Dr. Garlock, God of the Impossible, that I played earlier in the session. So I thought, okay, cool. We'll kind of feature this hymnal. So this is the Rejoice Hymnal. Y'all heard me talk about Rejoice Hymnal from Tempo Publications, which is probably my all-time favorite hymnal. But this is a great one, absolutely a great hymnal from Majesty Music. So really a fun one. Please remind me of that page number. Five, eight. Five, eight, 58. Okay. So here I am talking about the hymnal and I forgot the page number. Okay. Sing Alleluia. Um, well, 
This looks like a chorus with like a soprano part on top or a descant, and I do not know this song. So we're going to see so what happens. So Natalie is going to demonstrate why it is extremely handy to be able to read music. <laughs> yes. Oh, let's see. Um, it is in C minor, too. So this ought to be fun. There's not a lot of minor hymns in the hymnal, so we'll see what happens. Never heard that in my life. Really beautiful song written by Linda Stassen or Stassen, I'm not sure, Stassen Benjamin. So great song. I just don't know it. So that was fun to learn. All right, let's do Nearer My God to Thee. Okay. So in some hymnals, this is in 6 8, and in some, it's in 4 4. So we'll see which one. All right. Let's, oh, wait. Sorry. I'm on the wrong part of my list. Uh, crown him with many crowns. Kay. That'll be a change of pace. Oh, yeah. Big. Church in the Wildwood. Church in the Wildwood. Man, 
You can't say there's been no variety tonight. It's okay. everything from gospel songs to like old folk type songs like this and high church hymns. It's great. I love it. Well done. Thank you. All right. Here's a question from our friend Derek Kopp. Hey, Derek. Thanks for watching. Um, what's your favorite style to play? Oh, goodness. It changes because, like, I opened with Dearest Friend I Ever Had, which is just a good old convention style redback song, and I thoroughly enjoyed that. But then, I, I don't know what I've enjoyed most tonight. Near My God to Thee, I love that. I don't know. It's very contemplative and restful all at the same time but then wonderful merciful savior was awfully enjoyable to play congregationally i love to play songs like crown him with many crowns because everybody sings out nice and loud so and then i don't know good old southern gospel staples like what a lovely name how can you not enjoy playing that and hearing vestal in your head singing that lead uh i don't know i i mm. I'm trying to think if I have a least favorite to play. That would probably be easier to answer because I do enjoy so many different styles. So I'd have to think about that one. Okay. Natalie likes playing music on the <laughs> piano, I think, is <laughs> yeah. the answer to that question. So. That's true. That's true. Um, let's see here. Do you, I can't, I, feel, I have a feeling the one I'm about to ask is one that you always say you can't remember, but the unseen hand. No, I do know that one. Okay. Awesome. Yeah.
someone asked where they could get that Rejoice hymnal, and that is from Majesty Music. Yes, majestymusic.com. So. And then the other one is, I think it was originally published by Tempo, but now Randall um, House. I think Randall House has mm. it, but um, they're both called Rejoice. But so. Anyway. Um, what about those other two things? Oh, yeah. The piano? Thank you for reminding me. So we just finished right before this live session started. We finished doing several videos that you'll see on YouTube soon. And one of them was a medley of hymns about the Word of God. And Warner Bibles, which is a new Bible publisher, sent me their brand new New Testament that they just printed, and it's printed in like one column instead of two, which I really love. The readability of it is just super nice. The font is bigger, which is great too. It's just a New Testament. It is absolutely lovely. Like I'm super impressed with it, and I'm excited to share it with y'all. So they asked me if I would put it into a video in some way, and so we came up with the idea of doing it with a medley of hymns that all talk about the truth and the power of the Word of God. So that will be coming out really soon, but you can go to warnerbibles.com and get your own copy. It's just great. It's really nice, and part of the reason they exist is because they wanted to produce high-quality New Testaments instead of just you know mass production of a really quick, simple cardboard cover with super tiny font. It's a really elegant Bible. It would make a great gift. So if there's somebody in your life that you really want to give them the Word, and maybe kind of as a way to evangelize even, or just your own personal Bible study, or a gift for a graduate, or anybody. This is a great idea. So you can go to warnerbibles.com, W-A-R-N-E-R. And then the other thing I'm really excited about, choir conference is next week. We're hosting it at Bethel Calvary Baptist Church in Taylor, South Carolina, so upstate Greenville area. And we have the hymn sing on Friday night at 7, which we will be live streaming, Lord willing, I think from this page. So you'll be able to see it right from here. It's going to be super fun. Cannot wait. So come see us, though. It'd be better in person than to just watch it online. So you can find, we've got several posts about it, and we'll share the link to register. You can register right on our website. But then Saturday is the choir conference where we're going to be learning lots of new music. And Byron Fox from Bible Truth Music will be there with some new choir songs as well. But I wrote a new one. It's kind of like a fun convention style song where the lead changes and the tenors get the lead for a while and the altos get it and the sopranos get it and it's fun. And I just picked up the proof copy from the printer this afternoon. So they called me and said a proof was ready. So I went over there and I'm, I'm just so excited about it. It's, we did it in the large scale version to where it's like a full size page where you can see it a little bit easier. But um, this is actually the first time that something that I've written is like in physical print. Everything's available as a digital download these days. So this was really cool to actually see. So very excited about that. So everybody that registers, you get a copy of all the music and you get a fantastic barbecue lunch. So if you don't like the music, you'll love the lunch. So come join us in upstate of South Carolina. Learn some new music. Sing about Jesus. Yes. Why don't you go ahead and play that? Oh, really? Song? Yeah, let's see what it sounds like. You think okay. you can pull it off? Well, I haven't done it without, I haven't heard it in my mind without the vocal part, so let me see if I can do it. Yeah, I think, I think so. I think so. All right, we'll try it. see. It's going to be fun. And that's super different. I don't normally write songs that sound really convention style, but that one does. Well, that was pretty good. Cause Thank I, you. I, I, um, just listening to it, about four other songs came to mind, like Little Snatches. So it, at least it's not one song. That's right? true. That's you know? true. Convention style is kind of, uh, if you listen to a lot of songs that come from like the Redback 
the chord structures are pretty predictable even though the melodies may be a little bit different or there might be a few fun chords thrown in there but the overall structure is fairly predictable so yes and that one is brand new she yeah. finished it yesterday <laughs> so <laughs> literally yesterday okay um let's do oh here's a question okay do you know in the sweet by and by i do all right let's hear it. Let's do, um, I don't know if I've got the title exactly right, but it should be in the Rejoice Hymnal because it's a Ron Hamilton song, and it's I Stand Redeemed, or I don't think. I think that is the title. Is it? Okay. I'm yes. I, I don't know it by memory, but hold on. I, I think I know it well enough to play it. Let me see here. Um, I Stand, there it is, page 346. <clears throat> Amen. Oh, 
do you know footprints of Jesus? Let's do Jesus, Lover of My Soul. Okay. for all of you that were like, wait, you're not doing it right. You're correct. I wasn't, but I don't like the extra dotted half notes. But for the sake of accuracy, I'll play it correctly. Okay, I think we have time for one more song. Kay. I know you're just busting with something to say before as we close. You know what? I, I'm not. I was actually just thinking. I feel like I said all my little thoughts that, you know, I think throughout the day or while I'm playing a song earlier in the session. So I guess I just want to say thank you for joining us tonight. And it means a lot to us that you would take time out of your evening and worship with us and that's really what this is so okay I did have something to say because then I start thinking of things but that's really what it is when I sit down to play it's an act of worship to the Lord so and when you sing I hope it's the same so sing along with us and learn some new songs that's a lot of fun <laughs> okay that's really all I had to say okay <laughs> All right. Well, yes, thanks to everyone who joined us tonight. Mm -hmm. And we should be able to do another one quite soon. Um, not, don't have any travels planned mm -hmm. right away anyway. So yeah. that's and good. we're planning some with special guests, like some instrumentalists and some vocalists. So um, they're not all just going to be me anymore. We're getting some good, fun collaborations going on. So we'll see what happens. Okay. So um, just one more time. If you are 
even possibly thinking about coming to the um, choir conference, please go ahead and register so that we can make sure we're not woefully underprepared. Um, thank you to all those who already have. Yeah. And um, we're looking forward to seeing you all. It's going to be a good time. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Um, last song. Let's do Holy, Holy, Holy. Oh, that's a good one. All right. Oh. <laughs> 